Let's make a concrete dough bowl from this. I'm gonna break it down for you step by step. Let's go. Hi, my name is Jay Catalano. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna purchase a dough bowl from eBay, Walmart, Amazon, or wherever you can get your hands on a dough bowl and measure each and every side. This is my wooden dough bowl that I purchased from Amazon. Link is in the description. Let's measure all the sides. There are three sides you wanna measure. You wanna measure the length, the width, and the height. These are my measurements. Now that all of my sides are measured, I'm going to take those numbers and add approximately a quarter of an inch to a half an inch on each side so I can create a 3D printed master cylinder box which will allow me to place my wooden dough bowl inside so I can add silicone to recreate this awesome dough bowl. And if you don't have a 3D printer, no worries. You can take your measurements directly to Home Depot and they will cut your wood to the requested size you give them or you can do it yourself. If you don't have a Home Depot near you and you don't have a 3D printer, then you're gonna have to do it the poor man's way or the poor woman's way. Get some cardboard and cut the appropriate sizes with a straight edge and glue or tape those pieces together and voila, you are back in business. All right, now you wanna make sure that you add at least a quarter of an inch on each side so that there is a thick enough piece of silicone so you can demold your concrete dough bowl without ripping your silicone mold. You also wanna make sure you do not go over a half of an inch on each side because adding too much thickness to your silicone mold will make it impossible to demold. Here are my measurements with the extra space added to them. Now I already have a 3D printed master cylinder box. If you want to learn how to make a 3D printed master cylinder box, then just leave a comment below and if enough requests come in, I'll gladly make a video to show you how to do it. Okay, so here's my 3D master cylinder box. I designed it in sections so that I could easily remove it from the silicone mold once it's all dry. Notice how the wooden dough bowl fits nicely in the 3D printed master cylinder box. And if you can see, there is approximately a quarter of an inch to a half an inch on each side. The first thing we're going to do is clamp the pieces together with binder clips and then duct tape the bottom. Then once that's done, I'm going to seal my 3D printed master cylinder box. Why am I sealing it? Because I want to ensure that no silicone leaks out when I go to pour. And just so you know, I'm sealing my 3D master cylinder box with some bathroom silicone sealant that you can get on Amazon. Once that is dried, I will clean it up and make sure no extra pieces or dirt are laying around inside. And keep in mind, anything that gets left inside gets imprinted when you pour the silicone. Then I'm going to lubricate the inside of the 3D master cylinder box so that it's easier to demold when the time comes. I'm using some regular canola oil to lubricate it. You can either use oil, Vaseline, or if you'd like to get fancy, buy some silicone releasing agent, whatever floats your boat or dough bowl. Now that my dough bowl is all lubed up, I'm going to place a small line of silicone on the bottom of my dough bowl to help adhere it to the 3D master cylinder mold so that it stays in place when I go to pour my silicone. After it's dried, it's time to mix and pour our silicone mold. I use this ready-made silicone making kit, link is in the description, because it's super easy to use. I pour one part A into one part B and mix it for two minutes. Once the time's up, it's ready to pour. Yes, there are better and more cost-effective silicones you can use for projects like mine, but those, in my opinion, are for the people who make multiple silicone molds or do so for a living and not people like me. Notice how I'm pouring my silicone slowly and not just dumping it in. I wanna make sure of two things. One, I wanna make sure my silicone goes into every nook and cranny in my 3D master cylinder box. The other thing is I wanna ensure that no bubbles form when I'm pouring it. By pouring slowly, I can minimize the amount of air that gets trapped in the silicone. Okay, now it's complete. I'm going to let this sit for 24 hours and demold it. All right, 24 hours is done and now it's time to demold my silicone mold from my 3D master cylinder box. I am simply going to remove the binder clips, put those away, remove the duct tape, throw that away, and then detach my 3D master cylinder box. See how easy it was to demold? Had I not added the oil, I would have struggled and possibly broken my box or ripped my silicone. After cutting and cleaning up my opening to my silicone mold, I'm ready to display my new silicone mold for dough bowls. Isn't this awesome? This came out great. I can't wait to use it, but wait, how do we know if it works? We don't. 
Time to fill it up with cementol. But wait once again, how much cementol do I have to mix and use if I wanna do this without wasting any product? Never fear, last year I created a video on how to calculate how much product for any silicone mold. Link to that video is here when you need it. I already calculated that amount off camera, so I'm going to share that with you right now. But, and this is a big but, no two dough bowls are made the same. That means that the formula I'm going to use might not work for you as your dough bowl might be bigger or smaller. So make sure to watch that video and calculate your numbers properly. My plan is to make a black concrete dough bowl for candles. And of course, if you've seen this channel before, you know I love supper black pigment from Globe Marble because you don't need a lot of product to make it super black. In fact, less is more. This product is awesome. Shout out to Globe Marvel as they were kind enough to gift me with some supper black for this video. Okay, so let's start mixing. I need 1600 grams of cement doll and 5% or 80 grams of supper black pigment to create my dough bowl. To make a four to one cement doll to water ratio, I need 200 grams of water. Once added to the bowl, I'm going to mix, mix, mix until there are no lumps or clumps. Once I'm satisfied, I'm going to pour my mixture into my silicone mold, and once it reaches the top, I'm going to tap, tap, tap to get out any of the bubbles that might be forming along the way. All right, I'm done, and I'm going to wait three hours, and then I'm going to demold my black concrete dough bowl made for candles. I can't wait. Don't go anywhere. All right, three hours has passed. Let's demold this bad boy. Do you see how easy it is to demold? This is solid and I love it already. And here is my black concrete dough bowl made for candles. Isn't this awesome? I love how this came out. And I'm gonna let it cure for several days and then I'm gonna seal it. And then once that cures, I'll add wicks, candle wax, and fragrance oil to complete my black dough bowl concrete candle. However, that will be for another video. And take a look at these videos that are popping up now. They're going to help you on your candle making journey. Until next time, thanks for watching. Ciao.